gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I've been saying it, but y'all ain't heard me. I've been saying it, but I haven't been saying it clearly enough. I've been saying it and they've been saying it, but nobody's been paying attention. Did you know that the Constitution is not the law? Now hold on, hold on, before there are some riots in the street and people protesting, talking about tea parties. Ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution is not the law. But there's a caveat to that. Hold on, let me let me see if I can get ChatGPT to explain it. Now, I haven't asked it the question, but watch and see where I take it. Wake up. Wakey uppy. Excuse me one second, y'all. What is the definition for constitution? Question mark. I apologize for that, y'all. Sometimes it just needs to get a spanking. So one second. See, that's what happens when it don't want to act right, and I have to correct it. Let's have her explain it to y'all. The Constitution is a foundational legal document that outlines the framework, principles, and system of government for a country or state. It establishes the structure of the government, delineates the powers and duties of its branches, executive, legislative, and judicial, and guarantees certain rights and freedoms to its citizens. Constitutions are designed to serve as the supreme law of the land, providing the basis for the creation of laws, the governance of society, and the protection of individual rights against infringement by the government. Constitutions can be written or unwritten, flexible or rigid, and are often amended or interpreted to adapt to changing circumstances and societal needs. Wake up. Which one of the amendments in the Bill of Rights places an obligation on any one of the people of the United States or their posterity? Question mark. The amendments in the Bill of Rights of the United States Constitution primarily enumerate freedoms and protections for the people and limitations on the government's power, rather than placing obligations on the people. These amendments were designed to ensure the protection of individual liberties and to set boundaries on government action. For example, the First Amendment prohibits the government from making laws that infringe on freedom of speech, religion, press, assembly, and petition. Which one of the amendments to the Constitution for the United States of America within the Bill of Rights, comma, provides a right to any person in America? Question mark. Stop listening. All the amendments within the Bill of Rights of the United States Constitution provide rights to persons in America, but... Hold on, let me stop him. You are a... Wake up! Here's the answer to the question as to the caveat. Wake up! The Constitution does not grant a single right to the people, but protects the rights of the people, 
which are known as secured rights. Exclamation mark. And the Bill of Rights says nothing about citizens, comma, only focuses on the people and their posterity, exclamation mark. Stop listening. You are correct in stating that the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are designed to protect pre-existing rights of the people, rather than grant new ones. The language within these documents acknowledges rights that are considered inherent and inalienable, derived from principles of freedom and human dignity rather than bestowed by the government. The Bill of Rights, consisting of the first ten amendments to the United States Constitution, outlines protections against government infringement on these rights for the people. It does not create rights, it acknowledges and safeguards them. These amendments include protections such as freedom of speech, religion, the press, assembly, and petition, First Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms, Second Amendment, protection against unreasonable searches and seizures, Fourth Amendment, and rights related to criminal prosecutions, such as the right to a speedy and public trial and protection against self-incrimination, <sighs> Fifth Amendment, among others. The distinction between the people and citizens is an important one, emphasizing that these protections are broadly applicable and not limited to a specific class or status of individuals within the United States. The language intentionally reflects the founding principle that certain rights are universal to all people. Oh, shut up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so that you guys you are get... correct the... in stating that the Constitution Woman, and the Bill of Rights... when I'm ready to talk to you, I will let you know. You've been sitting up there being quiet all this time. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. She's kind of bossy. Okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution hasn't given a single right to a single person. Go ahead and look at the first 10 amendments and you see none of it gives you a single right. None of it says, and the people shall have the following rights. It doesn't say that. It says the right of the people, a right that already existed. It didn't create a single right for anybody. What the Constitution is, is a contract. Now, if you don't believe me, there it's a two-party contract. The people and their posterity, same unit, and those public officials responsible for the public trust. That's it. It's a two-party agreement. It doesn't give government anything but the right to do certain things and prohibits them from doing other things. That's why they take an oath to that. You don't take an oath to the Constitution. They have to take an oath to the Constitution because it was put there to protect you as one of the people. Not because you're an illegal alien. There's no such thing in the Constitution as an illegal alien. The Constitution did not have a provision for citizenship. Go ahead, take a look. There's no such thing in the Constitution as a citizen. Bill of Rights is the Constitution. Pay attention to prove to you that the Constitution was limited to the Bill of Rights. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice and ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution, singular, for the United States of America, total. You notice it didn't say this Constitution and future amendments to the Constitution. It said this Constitution. You'll have these idiots tell you that the preamble is not part of the Constitution. Then where does the Constitution get its authority if the preamble is not part of the Constitution? Who authorized it? The government couldn't do so because they didn't have any control. Go ahead. There was no government when the Constitution was created. Go ahead. Show me where the government existed prior to the creation of the Constitution, and you cannot. Citizen means subject. Subject means subjection to something. Pay attention. That's why the Constitution doesn't mention the word citizen. The people understood what a citizen was when they voted 
for the Constitution? That's right, the people had to vote. Congress didn't just sit up there and say, okay, we're going to make laws. Please, that's why the First Amendment to the Constitution is Congress shall make no law. Because the people were saying, Congress ain't, y'all ain't taking over this country. But that's what they did in 1933. And they did it prior to that during the Civil War. They just kept enacting junk like the one that made everybody citizens. You don't even have to say U.S. citizen. They made everybody citizens. That's why people are citizens of a state. And everybody wants to be a citizen of a state. You don't want to be a citizen of no state. The state constitution is the same thing. It's based on the same principle where the people of the state of give them authority. Okay? That's why they're written that way. So if you didn't understand this, I'm sorry. If you didn't understand it, you don't have a single constitutional right. Pay attention. They keep talking. My Fifth Amendment right. You don't have no stupid Fifth Amendment right, mother. I'm sorry. Ooh, Lord have mercy. <sighs> People keep saying you got to tell them your Fifth Amendment right. The Supreme Court says that you have to let them know that you a slave and you have to tell them I'm a slave and I have constitutional rights. Ladies and gentlemen, constitutional rights are those privileges and immunities. Pay attention. Constitutional rights are those privileges and immunities they keep talking about in the 14th Amendment. The people don't have privileges. The people have immunities, but they definitely don't have privileges. Cannot turn a right into a privilege. But when you accept that word citizen and call yourself citizen, then you're calling yourself a servant, i.e. an instrumentality of the United States. Don't believe me? Go ahead and look up instrumentality. Then go look at the Trading with the Enemy, not Trading with the Enemy Act, but the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act. Okay? Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act. Look up the word, do a keyword search for instrumentality. Wait, no, let's do this. So we, we got y'all here. We're going to keep y'all here for three more minutes. Going to do a 15 minute video. Wake up. The Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act Okay, ladies and gentlemen, stipulated procedures, service of process, time to answer and default. Then it says, except for such immunity specified U.S. property <clears throat> used by the foreign sovereign state, or excuse me, by the foreign state for commercial activity and any property of the U.S., <clears throat> all property in the United States, okay, any so-called personal property, okay, go ahead, of any agency, or instrumentality of a Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act, no, Trading with the Enemy Act foreign state, which engages in commercial activity in the United States subject to enumerated restrictions and conditions. I didn't say it, ladies and gentlemen. They've been saying it to y'all for years. You know about Senate document number, what is it, 74? Y'all know about that document, right, that makes you property of the state, and any so-called individual ownership is only by mere usury, by the authority of the state, that makes you an instrumentality of the state, that makes you property of the state, that's why every child is property of the state or a ward of the state. Interesting, ain't it? When you put all the pieces together, well, how do you undo it? That's not what this video is about, people. This video is about documenting the fact that you don't have a single constitutional right. You're not supposed to. You don't want constitutional rights. You want secured rights. My rights are secured. I don't need to tell you what my rights are. No, you don't get to tell me what my rights are. They don't have any authority to tell you what your rights are. Your rights are secured. Okay, like Tupac. All right, y'all, have a good day. Just wanted to show y'all how the Constitution ain't the law of the United States. It's the law of the government. It's the contract. The grantor, the trustees, and the beneficiaries. Just got to pay attention to the trust. Goodbye.